Welcome back to Breaking Ground and a very good evening. I'm Siddharth Talia. Now, is the Congress party really getting wary in Karnataka and Jitri over the kind of campaign that the Bharatiya Janata Party has been waging? Now, while Sidramaya, the former chief minister, earlier roared of a comfortable victory in Varuna or appeared confident, are there signs of nervousness now showing? Remember how the Congress had targeted superstar Kicha Sudipa when he campaigned for the BJP. Now, interestingly today, Sidramaya descended on Varuna with a galaxy of Kannada stars like Shivraj Kumar, Geeta Shivraj Kumar and Divya Spandana. Now, while the Congress dismissed Kicha Sudipa, saying actors come and go but have little impact on politics, now its own stalwart has relied on star power of actors to get him across the victory line. Let's More Congress candidates other than Sidramaya. Yeah, I think I have campaigned for Madhu, Madhu Margarapa, then Kumar uh, Bhim Naik, Jandi Shetar, then uh, Lakshmi Abarkar, Ashok Kelly, and Vijay Singh. We are standing at Varuna constituency where the former Chief Minister Sidramaya is ca currently campaigning. After initially saying that he would just campaign for about two days, now Mr. Sidramaya campaigning with full star power here in Varuna constituency. Now the, co the campaign, of course, of Mr. Sidramaya has reached about four days now in Varuna. Now, more importantly, we should understand the BJP, of course, had made a strategy of uh, announcing that it would be Minister V. Somanna who would also contest on the BJP from Varuna. Now, what the BJP probably has done here is make Mr. Sidramaya a little bit anxious, also make him spend more time in his constituency, preventing him from campaigning in other locations. As we see here, massive crowds have turned up for Sidramaya, and more importantly, because of the star power that he carries along with him in this campaign. Superstar Shivraj Kumar along with Mr. Sidramaya in his campaign. You can see along with Sidramaya right at the back, actor Shivraj Kumar, the son of Dr. Raj Kumar along with him. And huge number of people of course have turned up to welcome him as he passes and traverses through multiple villages in this particular constituency. Now let's also remind you now of how the Congress party had earlier mocked and derided Kicha Sudipa for campaigning for the Bharatiya Janata Party. The same Sini actor uh, met our KPC president DK Shukumar and he was willing to support Congress party. Uh, it is a shocking, of course, uh, the BJP has lost uh, their faith in Mr. Shiramulo as well as Mr. Ramesh Jarkiwale. But we know the pulse of the people, the entire Karnataka is supporting Congress party. But Sudeep, entering into politics the two, uh, to a party called BJP, it's a questionable thing. We would like to ask Sudeep that what is his really stance on Foreign Commission? What is his stance on uh, uh, Puneet Kerehali uh, killing, uh, uh, being a cow vigilante? What they are really looking for uh, people like Sudeep who can really come and, and, and uh, uh, take their broken uh, ship to, uh, to, to, to sites. Will it result in votes? Absolutely no. So if one takes a look at the demographics of the Varuna constituency, almost 40% of uh, the population there is known to be uh, of the Lingayat community. This has been a Lingayat bastion, but uh, it's also uh, been a constituency which has been a stronghold. As far as the Congress is concerned, Sidramaya has won twice uh, from the Varuna constituency and on one occasion his son Yathindra uh, had won there from 2018. Uh, the three instances were all cakewalks, but could it actually be different this time around for Sidramaya as the BJP has fielded the state minister, Mr. V. Somanna, who hails from the Lingayat community himself. So let's
fact, take this across to our guests. Uh, Ms. Sudha Halkai from uh, the BJP, spokesperson of the BJP is with us, as is Mr. Nikhil Jain, political analyst. Mr. Jain, coming to you first and foremost, uh, when Kicha Sudipa began campaigning for the Bharatiya Janata Party and Mr. Basavraj Bommai, the Congress, in fact, had approached the Election Commission seeking a ban on his films as well as his advertisements, saying that this might actually influence voters. Would it now do the same with Dr. Shivraj Kumar? Business and my political campaigning is looking business. So long as the modern mode of conduct is in play and the Congress or any party is seeking the ban or suspension of advertisements and movies and telecasts of such nature of, a, uh, of an actor who is campaigning for a party, I don't think what's wrong with that. Well, well, let me take this across uh, to Ms. Halkai. Ms. Halkai, how do you respond to that? Do you believe there's a bit of a double standards here involved on the part of the Congress which raised serious objections uh, to Kicha Sudipa campaigning for the BJP? In fact, even called for a stay on his movies as well as his ad campaigns. Uh, and the EC, in fact, dismissed that claim. How do you see the Congress's response? Uh, very good evening to all of you. So I would like to say whatever you said, no, it's a double standard. Yeah, definitely it is the double standard. The Congress has always been more hypocritical, uh, especially Mr. Sidramaya ji. Uh, the whole of uh, Congress, I must say, whatever we do, they have a, they have to oppose it. Like it is a thumb rule for them that they have to oppose it. But the other end, you see, they immediately they are going to copy whatever we do. They are saying in uh, Hindi, "Nakal ko bhi akal chahiye." Take it the reservation. Uh, recently, Mr. Sidramaya told that you know we are going to take the English reservation from 50 percent to 70 percent. Hmm. Why didn't they think about the reservation all these 40 years? Uh, Yes, yeah, 40, I mean, four decades, they didn't even think about the uh, increasing the reservation for the community where uh, uh, our uh, actor, veteran actor uh, Sudip, he hails from the community, he represents from the community and he, is, uh, he showed his gratitude towards the party for acknowledging their needs which was uh, uh, pending since past four decades and uh, take it uh, for a PFI, uh, banning of PFI, you can see the recent manifesto, what they have said is they want to ban, uh, ban okay. the PFI. Even PFI is already banned, they want to ban the PFI. How far does it make sense? I really I really laugh at their uh, manifesto, this one. And the uh, third thing that they told they're going to help uh, some uh, more than one crore of uh, our women voters uh, with their uh, freebies and all. See, this we have already done in our government irrespective of COVID persistently being there for two years. In the past three years, we have given the best to them. Take it health, take it education, take it uh, empowerment and right. uh, giving security to them. Less number of cases, crimes have been uh, noted okay. in Karnataka okay. for the open. Uh, so they are highly uh, hypocritic, I must well, say. Well, let me take this across to Mr. Nikhil Jain and let's uh, our analysis also confined to... Varuna, in fact, uh, Ms. Halkai, coming back to you, the Bharti Janta Party has actually been claiming that uh, Sidramaya appears to be a bit rattled as far as uh, retaining his constituency of Varuna is concerned because he's spending far more time there than he had pledged to do earlier because he said he has lots of other commitments in terms of campaigning in other constituencies. See, definitely because our, uh, our uh, very strong leader, I must say, Somana ji, he's known for his work since past many decades. It's not only that community that matters, the majority of the Lingayats are there. It is the matter how he has worked, he has performed in all the past five years. He is not an anti, he is not a person who has favored anti-nationalism, he is not a person who favored anti-democratic things, who has done anti-democratic things. He is not a person who has banned uh, Loka Yutta or something. Our work, the, the leaders of my uh, party have done immense work which are favoring towards our state and our uh, nation so absolutely there is no second question that you know he's uh definitely going to win with uh, more votes and definitely Mr. Sidramaya is shattered that Mr. Sumanaji is contesting against him and uh, that's the reason they're getting all their uh, star campaigners. Uh, Mr. Nikhil Jain, as an objective analyst of what's actually transpiring currently in Varuna, do you believe that uh, V. Sumana is capable of pulling off an upset in Varuna and defeating Sidramaya? Yeah, I don't think so. Sidramaya, the Congress has created women in the 2023 election. It's very clear to the country to be for all the it's simply not possible for Mr. Sitramaya to see me or his son is contesting. So, even without the star power, I don't think Sitramaya or his son would have any problem posting to the election. Okay. And uh, the BJP has no forward plans. The only forward plans they're going with is twisting words that when the Congress says they're going to ban Bajran they say it's an insult to Bajran I don't know how much. It is, but it is a heavyweight says, battle in Varuna. We'll see how the battle pans out. Ms. Halka as well as Mr. Jain, thank you so much for your insights. We have to take a short break right now. We'll come back with more on the other side. Stay tuned.